It's important to note the top of the range power is quieter than the cheaper pre-corrosive and pure specifications. We were told conflicting stories by Ben's experts. The pre-corrosive and pure variants don't have the same amount of sound deadening material, we were informed, but we also heard the contrary. It certainly seems they don't. The unladen ride of the X-Class is also a highlight. The beefed up and wider rear end, the independent front is also widened. Quell's big hits quickly and in one motion. New generation Teneco shock absorbers are a key part of this package. The Sacrifice is a terse ride that really low speeds on rough surfaces. Then it feels like the rear end is barely being activated. A couple of provisos here, our road drive was at slow speeds because of draconian 60 to 70 km per hour chilly and open road speed limits and we tested the X-Class with low posture 202 mm ground clearance European suspension that won't be coming to Australia. We also never got the chance to test the X-Class with a load on board to find out how well the setup them works. We did, however, get to test the high posture 222mm ground clearance saucy spec right hand drive X250D on a rather benign off-road course that most clearly demonstrated the vehicle's decent 30 degree approach angle and the effectiveness of its hill descent control system. We noted. However, that the low positioning of the autonomous braking radar sensor in the front bumper looked potentially vulnerable for serious off-road work. 